Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I know it looks like I have a mess, but I am creating a fall bin because I want to start working on fall nails. So I spent a lot of the morning digging out like things that I know I want to use for sure. So I have one, two, three. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23 colors. <laughs> so I'm not going to show them all to you, but we have like 111, which is a super dark. This is always one of my top picks for fall. It's like a super dark, beautiful blue from Ugly Duckling. Then I have two going in from Unvogue. I have two going in from this Sheen brand. For Jelly Fit, I had a really hard time deciding, so I got five. So those. This one. Actually, I think these are all from the same collection. This beautiful yellow. Then we have this one. Then from Bio Chic, I have this beautiful one, it is number 199. Just thought that would be a cool shimmer to add. Then this is that new one I recently hauled in a vlog. It is like a gorgeous brown. My cats are having a huge fight in the background, so if you hear some ruckus, that would be them. <laughs> okay, apparently two more from Ugly Duckling, 159 and 166. I use these all the time in the fall. Then P2262 from Purple Professional. New to my collection this year. These are from the... Oh my god, what collection is that? Cookie Bear. The Cookie Bear from Yogurt Gel. This is probably becoming... Oh my gosh, my cats. This is probably becoming like my favorite brand on the market. And then this collection here, I will show you because they are like some of my absolute favorite fall colors. So we have the Johans number 118. These are seriously like what I think about when I think of fall colors. So we have this lighter orange one. That's 118. Then we have 119, which is like a more like pumpkin spice orange. Then we have 120, which is an even darker like brownie orange. 121, super dark burgundy color. I got these from the pink chair a few years back. This is number 122. Gorgeous, gorgeous, like deep, deep burgundy. This is actually a brand I don't really carry, like in my nail studio, but when I saw that collection, I had to have it. And it's probably the only collection I own from them, actually. Okay, so along with let me move this in so you can see. So along with all of these colors, I found a bunch of art stuff. So we have the Woodland palette, watercolor palette going in. That is what the colors look like. We have four inks going in and an opera ink number eight. I also have some of my watercolor pens. Here are the colors I picked. I may not use all of this and that's okay. I just wanted to dig out a few things that I knew I liked or which I thought I might get use of this fall. I have a few stamping plates. We have some sticker books to go through. I'll show you the glitters next. I have some charms. Oh, and two more watercolor pens. So, Charlotte is the first glitter going in from Magpie Beauty. 
Then we have these two. These ones are from Glitter Mix Canada. This one is Caramel Corn, and I'm not sure the name of this one. Then we have Caramel Pumpkin from Glitter Mix Canada. Always Amber. This is also from Glitter Mix Canada, but I'm not sure the name. This is that new flake I recently hauled. This I definitely want to use. I dug out my mixed container of stones because they're all that beautiful like coffee kind of color. I also grabbed my little metal studs. And for stamping plates, Two of these are from Uber Chic, so there's that one, if you can see it. This one. This one I just grabbed because it had leaves on it. This one, I only want to use this image here. And then I have this one from Clear Jelly Stamper. This, I think I bought this one last year. I can't remember, but I've never used it. So this year, I'm going to make a point to use it. My bin is so full. Okay, and then I just wanted to kind of quickly go through my stickers to see if there was anything I really wanted to put in there. I'm still working on my fall sticker collection. I don't have very many. Hmm. I definitely want to put those in there. They're like little fall foods. What else should we add? I mean, I can always come back and dig through this. I just want it to just kind of have some close by. Should we put Hello Kitty in there? I don't know if I have a purpose for that one right now. Why did I skip a page there? I'm also going to put one of those in because I love that tone on the pumpkin. And I also have my watercolor, not watercolor, water deco book here. Just to kind of have a quick flick through and see if there's anything I would like to add. I do like those. I bought some cute ones recently in a haul. I want to see if those can be added in. I have a few color palettes and like ideas already, but I'm kind of just excited to play around right now. They're all so cute. It's hard to like narrow it down. I'm not really seeing any that's catching my eye right now. But I also have no idea what I'm doing. So I mean, like, when an idea comes to me, I might reach for these. I love that little stump. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take that one out for now. I actually like that one too. Okay, I think that is everything for the bin. It is definitely nice and full. So let's create a set together. So this color palette right here is gonna be our inspo. I just found it on Pinterest. I got this idea from Talia's Nail Studio where she looks up like color palettes 
and sometimes there's a little picture with it and like I know I want to do something whoops with that blanket and they have leaves here and stuff so I'm totally gonna do something with that and there are the colors I will show you what I have picked out for that so I have my tips ready to go I found I think I might use that leaf this is just all stuff from the bin and I'm gonna use that image there I think not positive yet I actually have like no ideas going into this I just going with what my brain tells me to okay so the colors I have picked from my basket was 119 which is that like lighter orange then I picked the 111 from ugly duckling Also dug out CN24. This one wasn't in the basket, I just added it. I realized I only had one burgundy in there. We can't be having that. And then this color is FW218 from Jelly Fit. You know I need to have flakes in all my sets. I love to layer a lot of stuff. And these are just a little art ink pen, or not art ink, they're watercolor pens. To fill in a leaf or something like that. So let's get started. So I literally have no ideas what I wanna do for color, like where I want to put them. I know I want this blue to be the main focus. So I'll do the thumb and pinky. Those other colors too, I might not even use. It's kind of just, I pull it all out and then I just see how it looks on and go with the flow. This is how I do all of my sets. I love to just go with the flow. I don't really like to pre-plan anything. Because if it doesn't turn out, that's just how it goes sometimes and that's okay. Okay, so we'll do those there. And I think I want the blanket style maybe on the middle finger. So I'm going to do that one in the gray. I love this color. We only have one supplier in Alberta for Jelly Fit, and it's in Calgary, which is about eight hours from where I am. So every time I go to Calgary, I make sure I stop by there. Oh, am I feeling more red or orange? orange. Okay, so we don't even need the red. We're going to do those two in orange. Oh, I like those two colors together. Actually, I might do this one gray as well because then we can do the watercolor leaf on it. Jelly Fit colors are mostly one coat coverage. Look, look at how well that covers. You do not need a second coat, but I will. Okay. This is what we are working with. I'm just going to cure these, apply the second coat, and I'll be right back. Okay, we now have these all double coated, and we are going to just put a matte top coat on. This is Fusion's matte top coat. On the two 
gray so far. Just in case I want to use the watercolor pens and stuff, they will be perfect for all the stamping. I think I'm going to put some flakes on that orange one. So I ended up putting matte on all of them besides the orange because I want to put this flake on there. So pretty and I feel like it would just match this orange really well. I'm not going to put a lot, just kind of tapping some on. No rhyme or reason. This is a really pretty one. I just got this one from Timu lately. Oh, there's no number on it. But if I can find it, I will leave the link below for you. Now we are going to matte top coat that one. And then we will add some art and some stamps. My favorite nail art style is like a lot of layers and like each nail with something different going on. And I know that's not for everybody, but that is just like my preferred way. Like I do really well with like solid color nails with a ton of stamping and a ton of art, more so than like a French tip style nail. Okay, let's put that in. Also, I dug out two more stamping plates because I was looking back at that picture and it had a pumpkin spice latte on there. So I actually found this stamping plate. It's CJS LC25 and it has like a cup image. So I thought we would do that, but I think I'm just going to stamp the outline and color it in with my red watercolor pen. And I also found those leaves as well. So first off, I wanna start with this plaid design down here. And I found these two colors, both from Clear Jelly Stamper. They are number 39 for the blue and 151 for the orange. I was just comparing it and I feel like They are fairly similar, so we're going to use that for the plaid nail. I just use the Big Bling Stamper. I recently bought the Maniology one, so I cannot wait to try that one out. I used to be a huge fan of them when they were Bundle Monster. I think I want to do blue in the back and orange in the front. I also subscribe to their Manny and Me mystery box every month, or subscription box. So I'm really excited to play around with that. I'm go right here. You see me going off to the side. I'm just using my Moira. Uh, it's kind of like a lint roller in a stand. Moving on to the orange. I love that. That is like exactly what I was going for. Okay, so we are going to do this pumpkin here because it is the same pattern as our plaid nail. Put 
put them like right there. We made a little mistake in the center, but that's okay. Hopefully one of the lines will cover it up. I'm gonna use the same blue. There's the blue. Popping on that orange. I'm not going to forget the stem this time. I do not know if I was recording that whole time for this. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and watch and if not I'll refilm it, but it is so pretty. I want to put some little like gold swirlies or something on there after. So we will just leave it like this for now. And we are going to watercolor that. Oh, I think there's also a little pumpkin image. I know on the picture it's hot chocolate, but we can put ours as pumpkin spice. Cute. I think that's all I wanted to use from this plate. Actually, maybe we'll put some of those on the thumb. We will do... I wanted a little bit of a gold accent, so we will put this one in. This is Eat My Dust by Young Nails. If you ever see me using a gold, it's that one. Cute. For the outline, we will do the sparkly brown. I feel like it needs something there. I'm gonna take this Lovely Leaves number four plate from Uber Chic. I'm just gonna put a little bit of these on. In that gap there. That's better. I think I'm gonna ombre. Either this 
Oh, I think that one. That one or that one. And we are going to ombre it with two shades of orange. This is number 28 and this is 151. So we're just going to put the lighter one on that side. That one down the middle. Sometimes these more like open image. They're hard to pick up. Oh, there we go. I want this on the orange one. Right there. And we will use the sparkly brown for this part. Love it. Here are the three colors I dug out for the pumpkin spice latte. I think I'm going to go with this middle one. These Art and Fly watercolor pens are from Amazon. Okay, so now that we have our design all done, it is time to apply the top coat. I am going to use Saturn Matte Top Coat from Fusion. Now this is a matte top coat with a little bit of a sparkle. It's kind of like a rosy gold pink. I just thought it would look super cute on top of this. 